It's the early fall now, which is an ideal time for tatog fishing. These fish prefer cooler water and can typically be caught from shore in the early spring and fall. They typically prefer rocky areas. To catch them from shore, a jetty or fishing pier is ideal. There are several baits these fish will take such as shrimp and sandworms, but crabs are the most common and effective bait. You can buy crabs from tackle shops, but you can also find crabs under rocks at low tide. Most of the crabs I find are Asian shore crabs, which are invasive and have no limit on how many can be taken. These are green crabs, which are the ones typically sold at bait shops. I found them after waiting further out. This is just a small sample of what I found. It's easy to fill up a bucket in about a half hour of searching. Togs are good at sealing the bait, so be sure you gather as much as you can. Setup is a dropper loop with a size 6 hook and a 2 ounce weight. This is a fairly light setup, but the fish here are on the smaller side. It's important to use a heavy rod with at least 20 pound test. You don't need to cast far, these fish are often right at your feet. Oh yeah, this feels like a good one. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's a nice tog. Probably not legal, but pretty cool. It can be hard finding these fish, and I often lose a lot of tackle because of snaggy conditions. What I typically do is drop the bait down and wait 5-10 to 10 minutes. If I don't get any bites, I try another spot. Once you're on them, you'll get several nips. Wait for a hard bite before setting the hook. Oh, that's tiny one. They're getting smaller. Be aware that these fish will try to dive into the rocks, so it's important not to let them run and land them as quickly as possible. Once you catch one, there are likely others nearby, so try the same spot again. I enjoy these fish because they put up a good fight and provide good action when other saltwater species have slowed down. Oh yeah. 